What is going on everybody? I've got a special treat for you today. I'm going to be enjoying some Flair's Mega Death Sauce. And then I'm going to attempt to defeat Dr. Wily at the end of Mega Man 7. Now, Dr. Wily's final form in Mega Man 7 is probably the most difficult final boss of any of the classic series Mega Man games. Possibly the X series as well. It's a very tough fight. And uh, this stuff, if you haven't had it, is very, very, very spicy. It's made of pepper extract and some various other uh, ingredients. It's very good, by the way. I recommend it. It has a Scoville unit count of about 530,000, which means it's about 2,000 times hotter than a jalapeno pepper. Now, a couple days ago, Stephen Colbert actually tried this on his show, and it gave me the inspiration to uh, do a video where I have a little bit of it myself and try to do something very challenging in a game to see uh, how brutal it is for me. And today I'm going to be doing that with the final battle of Mega Man 7. So let's get started. We got the Mega Death Sauce and I've got some uh, leftover hamburger right here as you can see. I'm going to just kind of dab that on there. Little dollop. You really don't want to use any more than that. That is that is quite extreme. I don't know if you can see that, but yes, quite extreme. Alright, we're gonna just kind of put this over here. Like I said, full transparency, no cuts. Alright, here we go. Mm. 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 It goes right to your head. Oh my God. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two thousand times. Hotter than jalapeno. Mm. It really does taste good though, no joke. Mm. It's like a sensorial experience. Woo. You know what, on second thought, I was gonna just hop on the, uh, the game. We're gonna go for another dab, that's right, a double dose of Blair's Mega Death Sauce. Got a little bit more hamburger here. Just a little dab, like maybe half of a dab, you know, compared to what I did before. There we go, that should be it. All right, now, take it from me, if you have a second dab of this stuff, it burns your mouth significantly more than the first. It's like there's a compound effect that kind of stacks. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. All right, what's going on everybody? Um, as you can see, I'm still recording. I'm using a Galaxy S6 for the, for the video of myself. <laughs> it's, um, it's a great camera. Phone. Phone and camera. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that second, that second dose hit much harder than the first. And it was smaller too. It really is a, a compound effect. So, now, <sighs> okay, huh. mm. I should just start right at the saucer fight. Like just gone straight to the saucer fight, but but no, I didn't think of that for some reason. 
I really hope everything's recording right so I don't have to uh, do this again. Ah. Okay. So, Dr. Wiley, my old foe. We meet again. You know, this is good though. The game is actually distracting me from my pain. It's a good kind of pain though. Kind of. Oh boy, he faked me out that time. Whoa. Okay. So, um. Okay. Whoa. I'm, I'm actually playing. You can see right here, I'm, I'm actually playing. Ah. Uh. Oh, I'm out of uh, ammo. So this is where you use the a wee, wee tank. That's what I'm going to call it from now on. The wee tank. Oh, jeez. Dr. Wiley, man. Why are you so mean to people? Why are you so mean to people? See, on this fight, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm like really sweating right now. On this fight, you want to lose as little health as possible oh god Whew. ah okay <laughs> wow i'm really opening myself up here really really letting it all letting it all out there huh so you want to use the freeze cracker on this fight because you can angle it upward when you fire it's also important that every time you fire it, you say, freeze, cracker. The idea is that that's what a, a racist cop yells when they, uh, when they go after a white person. A cop who's like anti-white people. It could be a white cop. I'm not saying it's anybody else. It could be a white cop. There's any cop that doesn't like white people. And then he chases down a white guy. He's like, freeze, cracker. All right, I know it's not funny. I'm going to stop. Actually, it is a little bit funny. Freeze, crack! Oh, he got me. Well, he didn't get me, but he did cause me to miss. You have like a very brief period to attack, and then he's invincible. Like right there, when he's <coughs> when he's sending down the little sparky things, you can hit him. But when he sends down the big sparky things that fly along the floor, then you can't hit him. Also, it's better to be hit by the yellow little sparky things than the red and blue. It does more damage. Ah, uh, by the way, I have damage shield on. So in actuality, this fight would be twice as hard as it is right now. That's probably not something I should admit because it makes my, my video less impressive. And it, it makes it less cool that I'm like doing this with the Mega Death and everything. But I'm just going to admit it anyway because like I'm a good person. All right, here we go. Uh, another E-Tank. So far, so good. I mean, if this were a real run at it, I'd be doing horribly. But so far, you know, I'm not doing horribly. This is a, a battle that you really do want the super adapter for. The super adapter being the, uh, how do you say, adapter that is super. The one that lets you, um, oh, I actually dodged that time, wow. The one that lets you jump really high in the air that's the one you want for this one. Oh man you know i bet there's like a, a way to dodge his shots every time there's like a trick to it so like go like that maybe whoop and then maybe jump i don't know or dash out of the way and then jump oh yeah there you go hit the yellow one okay we're doing okay we're, we got this we got this here we go oh shit I could swear that these attacks are doing just as much damage as they do with the shield off. Actually, you know what they are because they do tick-based damage, meaning each tick they take off like one health, and you can't reduce one health. You can't you can't take half a health damage. You know what I mean? And so the fire attacks in particular are definitely doing the same amount of damage that they did originally. Oh, I did! I dodged another one. This is crazy. Problem is, I'm out of ammo. What do I do now? Oh, you know what I should have done? I shouldn't have used my, my Wii tank. I should have waited until this fight and used the rest of my freeze ammo first. What was I thinking? All right, hit the, hit the yellow one, very good. I 
this point, I'm basically just dependent on him to land where I want him to. Ah, shoot. Come on, man. Fall into range. No! You son of a bitch. Whoa. Whoa, you see that? I dodged again. Okay, here we go. Boom. Maybe I should charge. Charge it up. Yeah, I'm gonna charge it up. Okay, here we go. Whoop! Whoop! Oh, man, that worked. Wait, see if you slide and then jump. Okay, hold on. Oof! Got him. Got him. Okay, now just charge up again. And then, boop! Got him. Got him again. Okay, jump. There we go. And now, just need one more hit. One more hit. Come on. Come on. Come on, you bastard. You son of a bitch. Oh, God. Here we go. Okay, yeah. Good thing I had that one last E-Tank. And... What weapon should I finish him off with? Well, I don't know which ones work. <sighs> oh, you son of a bitch. You just do not want to come down, do you? What are the odds that I actually lose this fight because he just never comes into range? Oh, wow. Look at this. He's just, like, absolutely refusing to... Wow. Wow. Well, guys, it was a it was a fun <laughs> it was a fun video. Whew. Oh my god! <sighs> what a disappointment! <sighs> All right. A good thing about the Legacy Collection is you can just load your checkpoint save so you don't actually lose all your energy tanks. Well, well, thank you for joining me. I hope it was good for you. I gotta really rethink a few things.